Well, my boy said, Dad, if you're not posting the videos on YouTube, there's no proof that you rode today. So I guess this video could be pretty boring. I wasn't really in the mood to talk a whole lot, but I was in the mood to get out and ride. I want to ride my Harley, but that's going to be one of those things where I'll be sticking to blacktop. I didn't want to stick to blacktop today, so I got to ride the old Honda. The old Honda. In case a lot of y'all don't know it, you can check out my YouTube channel. My boys are really deep into racing, and they really love it. So get on there on that uh, video list of my playlist and check out them Emma Indoor Raceway videos that I've posted. I believe I've got roughly 130 videos to share that I've shared. They're all real short videos, so if you want to watch them, that'd be cool. Kind of support them. Hit the like button. Let them know that you're enjoying the footage that they're put that they've got. A cool old barn. Wouldn't mind turning that into a home. I love driving down these back roads find these old barns. I'm kind of one of them guys that grew up in construction and I love to take an old, old barn and turn them into homes. You know, if you can find one that is just not completely destroyed from, you know, rotten and no roof and none of that, then Oh, wow. I did not know this come out here. Well, that's pretty doggone cool. <laughs> Had a bad windstorm the other day. And uh, they really got that building. Well, I guess I'll have to go find another gravel road now. Huh? That's pretty cool. So I'm on Y Highway. Comes from Eldon and goes to Rocky Mount. Getting ready to pass the Cedar Junction gas station, restaurant slash bar. I think I'll go down here by the fire station and uh, go down by Indian Rocks, Indian Creek, and take a couple of them gravel roads, ride around a little bit.
I think it'd be kind of neat to put some flat track tires on this old XR650. Take it up there to Emma, indoor raceway. Run the flat track on this bike. Not sure how the old girl would handle it, but hey, I would do it. <laughs> I'm always up for a good, good fun ride. Well, this video might be kind of boring for some of you, but some of you might just enjoy watching people ride bikes from home when you can. So. There is that. I know all winter long, I watch other people's videos, and I enjoy it. Sometimes, I like to watch the videos where people don't even say a stinking word. They just get on there, ride, and don't say anything. I'm okay with that. All right. Oh, we got some fresh gravel. All right. This big old torquey beast, I tell you, back tires do not last long on this bike. You crack a throttle, man, it just, it wants to spin. I basically have a stock tire on it. The previous owner says he replaced the tires on it but I tell you I don't uh, I don't know if he did it, it, I mean they're not bald and I'm sure the stock tires would have been bald by now maybe he's just put another set of stock tires on it and I'm pretty sure that I'll either go with like a set of D606's or Maybe some Motos Tractionators or the Motos Rowls, Rallies, however you want to pronounce that. I know whatever I do put on it, I want it to last a little longer than what factory tires do. Because I'm going to continue to ride throughout the summer, but yet I want my tires to be good enough to last me through this Palooza ride that I'm going to go on this fall. Because, uh, believe it or not, I do put quite a few miles on a bike. Now, my miles I put on my Harley has dropped way, way off. I used to burn through three sets of tires on my Harley-Davidson 